I have some wonderful news. I have found a position for you. It is with a choice family in Bath, and the position is one of... I'm most obliged, but I would not consider leaving Highbury. As your protector, I cannot allow you to feel that way. I'm sure everyone agrees with me. What are your options, after all, Jane? Hmm? These sandwiches are delicious, Mrs. Elton. You really are a gourmet. <laughs> well, I never compliment myself, but my friends tell me I certainly know how to make a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> now, Jane. Shall we I... all play a game? I command that we each tell Miss Woodhouse something entertaining. You may offer one thing very clever, two things moderately clever, or three things very dull indeed. Oh. <laughs> and in return, Miss Woodhouse will laugh heartily at them all. Okay. I do not pretend to be a wit, though I have a great deal of vivacity in my own way, of course. These diversions are tolerable at Christmas when one is around the fire, but in my opinion, it wastes the outdoors. Miss Woodhouse, you must excuse me. And me. I'm an old married man. I have nothing to say that would please Miss Woodhouse. No. Or any young lady. Oh, well, I need not be uneasy, as long as we're allowed three dull things. <laughs> very dull, in fact. I shall be sure to say three very dull things as soon as I open my mouth, shan't I? <laughs> <laughs> that may be a difficulty. Oh, I doubt that. I'm sure I never fail to say things very dull. <laughs> yes, dear, but you'll be limited as to number only three. Oh. Be sure. Yes. I. 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 I see. I see. I see what she means. I will try and hold my tongue. Oh, I must make myself very disagreeable. Or oh, she would not have said such a thing to an old. Oh. oh, just three. Yes. Miss Bates, will you give me the pleasure of your company whilst I pick some more strawberries? Oh, thank you, Mr. Knightley. That would be charming. Emma, how could you be so unfeeling to Miss Bates? How could you be so insolent to a woman of her age and situation? I thought it possible. How could I help saying it? I dare say she did not understand me. And I assure you, she felt your full meaning. She cannot stop mentioning it. I wish you could have heard her honor your forbearance in putting up with her when her society is so irksome. I know there's no better creature in all the world, but you must allow that blended alongside the good there is an equal amount of the ridiculous in her.